can you get into an Israeli Special Forces unit? Because being accepted into these units for many is impossible. My name is India and today we are going to train for IDF Special Forces. The Israeli army is also known as the IDF, which stands for Israel Defense Forces. Almost all Israeli citizens are required to serve at the age of 18. Men are required to serve for about three years, and women are required to serve for about two. To serve in IDF Special Force units, you must pass several rigorous exams, which test both intellectual and physical abilities. Since many missions require you to carry tons of equipment and survive under harsh conditions, you must be prepared. Today, I am going to challenge myself. I came to a city called Yavne in Israel to train like I am about to join the IDF Special Forces. We're beginning now. I am a bit nervous because this training isn't for the faint of heart. After all, the units I am training for are among the most elite in the world. Hello. But my father was an officer in the U.S. Army, so it may just be in my blood. Let's go find out. My name is Netanel Hasid. I was in the past in the Special Forces here in Israel, and now I do kosher kravi. Netanel trains boys and girls who want to join Special Force units. He prepares them just before they join the Army, so they will be ready for the exams they will face. How many people every year try to join the Special Forces? The number of people trying to get into special forces nowadays is very low. People don't want to join the combat units like before. It's very unfortunate. Even those who try to join special forces often fail because not everyone understands what it takes. Not everybody understands the muscles in their bodies. They think it's easy to pass a selection course or a combat test. You can see it for yourself that this training is not easy. It's not simple at all. Today the kids don't know nothing about training. Here you develop values. We are preparing them for the army. You see, serving in these units in Israel is considered very prestigious and can even help you get better jobs after your army service. It's like going to Harvard or Yale in the U.S. The kids I am training with today are around 17 to 18 years old. I admire their tenacity to come out here to train and train hard. Before beginning, Netanel, our trainer, instructs us to place our phones into this box. No distractions will be allowed. Now, we start with a 15-minute warm-up. It is only after this that the real training begins. We run up and down this steep sand dune again, again, and again. Netanel makes us fill up bags with sand to carry on our backs. We continue to run. Then a stretcher is brought out. We charge up the hill once again. It feels like a breaking point physically. Oi, how is I have a lot of work to do if I want to join Israeli Special Forces. That's for sure. However, what surprised me is that after this point, all the training after feels easier. Not because it is easier, but because I broke a mental limit in my mind. This is exactly what Netanel is trying to teach all of us, that much of the challenge is in our mind. You can, in fact, push your body further once you accept that you can do this and that you will not break. This is a critical lesson for those wanting to join Special Forces. During the selection course, people who are already in Special Force units come and examine all of the candidates. They test them with many exams, which I cannot disclose because they're classified. During the two days of selection course, the candidates are tested on their physical abilities, combat readiness, grit, motivation, charisma, how much burden they are willing to carry, and how much pressure they can take. 
They're tested with both physical and mental tests. After an hour into training, we go out into the streets. It's time for a new exercise. But first, Nitanel paints our faces with camouflage. Next, we grab large tires and proceed to run up and down the hill. We begin to low crawl up that same hill. Now we are entering into the last part of our training. My name, up. It is a high intensity training. Imagine, our bodies feel very weak already, so these last exercises feel excruciating. <laughs> After one last push and encouragement from Netanel, we finish. In this moment, would I be able to qualify for special forces? You can be honest. Can I be honest? Then I can tell you one very simple and honest answer. Not only you. Anyone can do this. Anyone who plans their path and dedicates themselves to combat training will realize that no one can break you. It is forbidden to believe you can be broken. It is forbidden to say to yourself, I cannot. There is no such thing. But there is the right training and motivation and willpower. Everything is possible. Elite units in the IDF demand your discipline, both mental and physical. I have so much respect for those who can make it into these units. This is how you train for Israeli Special Forces. This, this is, is Inside Israel. Israel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hasid Wallace! Oh! Oh!